welcome back. I am Fiddlin' Johnny, and this is my fiddle channel and magic review. Uh, that little fiddle tune is the wind that shakes the barley. Just a little piece or a snippet of that tune. Anyway, today we are going to be getting into Dream Box by Hota. And uh, it's a fun little routine, so uh, stick around and we'll get right into it. So let's get right into this. Um, you're gonna get Dream Box. This is uh, what it looks like. I am going to pull it out here and just show you. And I got a complaint right out the gate. And this complaint does not reflect on the product itself. The product's really good. Uh, I'm going to use this product right out, uh, so you know that. I'm gonna use this product. Um, it's the sort of thing that I would do at a professional gig, carrying it with me. Uh, but dang, this box is too tight. And when you try to get these um, these out of here, they're just a little tighter than I would like. Okay, enough quibbling um, with this. But okay, so that's 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 what you're getting here. Uh, I guess I got one more in here, Paris. Um, so you saw the effect. The effect is is that a participant or your audience can literally pick any of the cards uh, that you have. So they can really pick Paris, they can pick Hawaii uh, as their choices and destinations, they can pick ACDC, Coldplay, uh, Spice Girls, it doesn't matter, they really can pick any of those. Whiskey, uh, Will Smith, um, all of uh, your celebrities that, that we have here. So um, they can honestly pick any of those and then at the end it is going to match one of the predictions that uh, whatever one they chose. And of course, in this one, I just have the uh, Hawaii Coldplay chocolate with Brad Pitt. Uh, you can see these are a really good, high quality, uh, and that's um, what you're getting there. Along with, sorry, I guess I didn't show this to you. I didn't put this in the box because it made it that much more uh, tighter uh, to get things in and out. But this is your lanyard. Um, that comes with it. So let's talk a little bit about um, that's the effect. The effect I think you can see is powerful, totally free choice, there's no forces, no equivoque, they pick whatever they want. That in and of itself is really awesome. So uh, it's a powerful effect and um, I think really can kind of be really fun to perform if it fits your style of magic. Um, I've shown you what you get. Um, you're getting the lanyard, you're getting your predictions, and you're getting um, postcards. These are really postcards. That's all there. You can see fronts and backs of those. Um, so um, that's what you're going to get. You're also going to get two instructional videos or two videos. Both are exactly 17 minutes and some odd and change. So you're getting 34 minutes of instruction. Uh, the first video that you get, they call it part one, is basically walking through the product itself in terms of what you get and how to set it up. Um, and uh, the word gimmick is used, I think of them more as props, like these, these are really props that you're getting. So you're getting props and you're getting a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, we'll call it a gimmick because technically it's probably a gimmick. So you're getting props and gimmicks. They're all high quality. They're just fine. Uh, no issues there in addition to the instructions. So part one, it goes through uh, what you get uh, and how to set it up. Setting it up, this is something you don't see in any of the ad copies. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, I felt like it took a long time to set it up. It probably took me, uh, this is embarrassing. It's probably an hour simply because I was doing other things and kept coming back to it because it's a little tedious. Um, and that's all I'll say. Uh, the setup is super easy. It's not hard. It just takes some time. And um, so um, you get the first instructional video about the props. Second part is what you're going to get is the instruction or the performance and how to do it. Uh, quick criticism is on your performance, uh, he doesn't do a single uncut live performance, but he does walk step by step through the, um, how he does a performance. And at the end of the day, I got what I needed. So even though it's a criticism, because I think everyone should put in an uncut version of their products so that we can see what it looks like when they perform it. Um, I didn't see that here. At the end of the day, uh, I got what I needed. So um, that's pretty much, I think, really uh, what matters. So I'm quibbling on, on that real small piece. 
The instructions are fine. It's shot just like this, straight on, single angle. Camera never moves, uh, but you get what you need. It's shot really well in his, what looks like a home or apartment. It really looks really nice. Hoda, he got a great place there, it looks like. Um, and I mentioned that all the props and gimmicks are fine. These are gonna last you a long time. Uh, if you are, are doing magic and you're using postcards that are sturdy on really good stock, however long a typical postcard lasts, um, and as long as you don't get these into the grubby hands of your participants, depending on sort of what scenario you're in, they should last an awfully long time. So um, I think you're already hearing a lot of the pros for this. It's a powerful effect. Your props are really good. Um, it's easy to perform. The ad copy says that it is intermediate level, and I totally disagree. I think a beginner could, out of the box, with 15 minutes of practice, could be performing this. It may not be beautiful, but they could do it and probably get away with it. Um, I, th I suspect that they use the term intermediate on ad copy for this simply because I think it's really geared more towards the professional uh, uh, on this product. So um, another pro with this is the participant can touch most of your props. So your participants are going to be able to touch your lanyard. They're going to be able to uh, touch um, a good chunk of your postcards. Not all your postcards, but most of the postcards they're going to be able to um, be able to touch if they really wanted to. Um, so uh, that's nice from that perspective. I think most importantly at the end, they can touch uh, where the heat will be is they'll want to touch the prediction and they can hold the prediction in their hands, look it over, and they can see that it's not gimmick, that it doesn't have different outs or that sort of thing, that it is truly printed in high quality on a piece of paper what their uh, prediction was. Um, so those are all the good things. Let's get a little bit into, um, oh, let's go, before I forget, uh, another pro, and normally I would probably talk about this as a con, but from a pro perspective, is that the memorization that needs to occur in this is really easy. I typically would shy away from um, uh, having to do a lot of memorization because when I'm in a performance situation, I wanna take that element out. I was a little concerned about this here, zero concern. Um, and that while you have to do some memorization, um, it's so easy and the system that's set up to be able to do it, not a problem. You, anyone will be able to do this. Um, even if you have learning challenges, you would be able to do it, I believe. So I don't know if that's a good thing to say or not, but really, uh, memorization out the door. You don't have to, you do have to memorize some things, but it's so easy, it's, it won't be an issue. Um, let's see, the uh, other things I would talk about in terms of from a con, and I would say this about with almost any product I get, the patter, oh my gosh. The patter works great for Hoda. It's because it's his routine. Uh, he controls it, he's created it. It works great for him. For me, I'd immediately go like, oh, I've got to change this patter. And most of the patter that I use is sort of, uh, was used uh, from Hoda in his uh, version. Uh, but I think uh, I will be performing this. I will adapt it to my scenario and adapt it to my character uh, to be able to make it work. But the truth is, I don't think I've rarely ever really used most of the pattern that's on any of the um, products that I purchased. But uh, this one I felt a little stronger about um, in, in that respect. So um, another piece that I would talk about is pocket space. If you are a casual performer and you like to carry things in your pockets and you're going out for the night and maybe you're hanging out at the, a bar or something of that nature, then um, this is what you would carry in your pocket. It's not super big, but um, it will take up some pocket space. So um, I, you would just need to know that if that's the type of performer that you are. So I don't know if it's necessarily a con, but something that you should know about. Um, it does say on all of these props, it uses the word dream box here. If you look at your lanyard, it says dream box there on great big letters on your lanyard. And then on your predictions uh, here as well, um, it has the word dream box. I just want to show this to you um, on the celebrity side. On the very bottom, it says dream box. So, the pattern that's given to you is talking about this is a dream box and therefore it would make sense that you have it on there. Um, two things about that. When I opened up my own props, 
and uh, going through them, I immediately had this groaning effect. Like, oh, it says Dreambox on that. If folks really wanted to go and do a quick search, would they be able to find it? Probably not, but maybe. Um, so I, I didn't like that. With that said, uh, when I went back and looked at the training video and the teasers, it says Dreambox on all of them, and I never even noticed it. So I think for your casual spectator, they probably will not notice it either, because I, I didn't notice it, to be honest, and didn't care. But I don't like that, and something for you to think about. And for me personally, like I will probably change out this uh, just a little piece of paper that they put in here that says Dreambox. I will probably change mine out and tailor it to um, the scenario in which I am working. So uh, just something though that you should know and sort of just a little bit of my, my pet peeves or things that um, I think are important for you to know. So um, at the end of the day, what do you need to know about this product? I think one, it's a great product with a powerful effect, but I don't. I think it's really for a professional. If you're a working professional, I think this is a product to consider. Um, I work in a couple different uh, types of um, performance situations, and when I first saw this advertised, I mean, this is not for me. It doesn't fit my character. I love the effect. Um, you know, intellectually, I like it but I couldn't see how I would fit it into the scenarios that I uh, work in. So I purchased it mostly because it was a hot trending product and I thought, let's go ahead and do a review so folks who are interested know what they really get. Now that I have it, it's clear I, I will definitely use this. Um, I work in sort of uh, corporate uh, events and then I also do nightclub work where um, I uh, often perform with a rock band or between uh, sets of rock bands in those types of scenarios. So I think the lanyard and doing sort of like a VIP pass, uh, backstage pass type of routine, hanging out with celebrities, that's the sort of pattern I would use for it. In my corporate events, I think I might consider, rather than using the uh, celebrities, um, I might actually tailor it to um, maybe some of the CEO, maybe the chair of the board of directors, uh, maybe some key staff, uh, and have those as their choices. Maybe intermingled with some of the uh, celebrities, but um, uh, I might do that. Now, with that said, that means I would have to, um, now that I know what the method is for this, if I wanted to create my own products, I could. And most of the time I think, like, why would I bother even doing that? Because these are really good, high quality, and it means I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of printing if I wanna do it for myself. But the truth is that corporate gigs get paid really well. And for me to take the time to tailor it to that uh, company uh, and make custom props for them, I think it's well worth the cost and really uh, makes you stand out from anybody else because you've taken the time uh, to really take care of that customer and make a personal experience for those who are attending. So I think from that perspective, it could be really, really great. The cost is $40, and for goodness sake, for $40 on what you're getting, uh, it's fantastic uh, in that respect. So um, I think that's really sort of the key things that I want you guys to know. So uh, I really appreciate that you keep coming back, checking out these reviews. I hope that it's really helpful for you. And if there's stuff that I'm missing and you'd like to hear more about, just put it in the comments so that in future ones uh, I can start to include those. I am trying to sort of um, build what folks really are looking for here. And I'll admit that um, I still feel like I'm learning a little bit. So I appreciate you sticking around as I sort of learn this process of trying to do a good quality review. So please remember to like and subscribe and to share this video with other folks. And until next time, remember, I'm Fiddling Johnny. And thanks for coming here. And remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.